for this day, fans, September 28, 1941. It may be a history-making day. Red Sox and A's in a doubleheader here at Chive Park in Philadelphia. But all eyes are on this man, Ted Williams, gunning for a 400 season. He's hitting at even 400. I think if I were Ted, I would sit out today, but Ted never backed into anything. I got up to the plate, and I'm all set to hit. The pitcher was taking the sign, and all of a sudden, Bill McGowan, the umpire, stopped the game, and he turned his back towards the pitcher, and he started wiping the plate again. Right. It was perfectly clean, but he started wiping the plate again, <laughs> and he said, in order to hit 400, he says, you got to be loose. A lot of players, when they're told, you got to stay loose, all of a sudden, you get all tight, and you say, oh, my God, I'm trying to hit 400. What am I doing here? But Ted Williams just laughed, and he's like, you got it. That's right. That's what I got to do. First time I get up, Bob Johnson was playing first base that day, and I hit a ball sharply by him. And of course, that, that was a great hit for me because, you know, it got, got me going a little bit. He hit a single the first time at bat, a home run the second time at bat. Long drive, deep right field, this ball is out of here. Two singles after that, that's the first game. And after you hit 400 in the first game, is it true that, uh, that Joe said you could sit out the second game? Yes, one? yes it is. And I, uh, and I just uh, I felt pretty confident, and I thought, well, I might as well just go on out and play the second game, which I did, and, and I got a couple more hits that game. In the second game, a double that knocks out the public address horn in right field. Williams, a line drive blue darter. It hits the horn in right field, and Ted has himself a double. Ted finishes the doubleheader six for eight. He goes six for eight in the two games, and he winds up hitting 406. Six for eight over those two games. Instead of batting 400, he winds up with 406.